Hi, I'm now going to introduce you to the mezzanine system from Oblong Industries. What we're going to do today is take a look at some of the system's capabilities in a theoretical architecture, engineering and construction example. So at the front here I have what we call the digital workspace and over on the left we have uh, an area that we call the cork boards. There's a bit of a gap between the two areas but I'm going to take you through that as we look at the solution today. So in this example uh, I'm going to be working on an architecture project so in this architecture project, we're sharing with one of our other locations. So as I move through, you can see that we've got some nice imagery. But then at this point in our presentation, we actually have a video call going on with my colleague Laura in another location. Laura also has control over the system and we can share and collaborate. So I'm going to continue to move through the deck to get to the actual work for today. But as you see, Laura's actually now been lost off the side. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to push back this system to access what we call the full workspace. Within this workspace, you can see what I've got is I've got some static images that I can access at the top. Our presentational layer in the middle, which is what we've been using to present thus far. And then I have live video sources down the bottom here as well. So actually what I want to do is bring Laura back into the call. So I'm going to pop her up on another area which we call the windshield. Now the windshield sits in front of everything else, so I can bring the presentation back in and Laura still remains there. But having already said hi to Laura, and now we want to continue to work, I can take Laura and actually using that flexible windshield area, I can actually move her and place her out of the way so we can continue to work. I might want to bring her a little bit closer here and just place her down next to the camera so that we can maintain eye contact and continue our conversation. Anytime Laura waves at me or needs my attention, I can pick her up again, we can converse, and then I can place her slightly out of the way. So I'm going to continue to move through the deck here as we move through the preamble of our work session and discussing the different design options. And I reach a point in my presentation where Laura's actually sharing a computer with me. So I'm going to move Laura to one side so I can take a better look at this. And I'm actually going to grab and kind of reach through here using some mouse control from the system, which is a feature of the mezzanine. And I can rotate the building around until I find an aspect that I want. Now unfortunately Laura's going to have to leave the call shortly and it's, this is Laura's computer that we're actually looking at this CAD model on. So what I'm going to do is take a snapshot of the area that I want. So I'm going to do that simply by rotating the wand in my hand until I find this crosshair and I'm going to grab the section that I'm actually looking for and I'm going to drag and release like so. At which point I can say, well, thanks for your time, Laura, and I appreciate you bringing the drawings in so that we've uh, been able to discuss that. It's been great to see you. We'll see you soon, and I can remove Laura from our call as like so. I can also then remove her computer, as that's going to be going offline, and I can take from our static bin where we captured that image, the image that I actually want and bring it back into the deck so we can continue to discuss it. What I'm also going to do is move it over here onto our court boards so that if we move on through the presentation and the items of discussion, we can keep that there as a reminder of the piece that we're working to. I'm going to pull this back towards me again now. So we've got our building aspect there that we're going to be looking at later. And then I can also move along here and I can take a look at the floor plan designs of this space that we're going to be working on. Now this is a 1080p image and that's great, it's quite detailed, but sitting at distance and around the conference room table here, any point I want to look at detail within this design, it's going to be quite hard to do. So again, I'm just going to push back our, our presentation layer here, accessing all my video sources, and also up here I've got my static images, and I'm going to grab the original image just by clicking on it. And that's now popped up onto our windshield. Now this is a much higher resolution image than 1080p, so what I can now do is by grabbing hold of it and pulling it towards me, I can start to focus in on the area that I want. So that's the space that I'm looking at. I'm looking to install a mezzanine in this, in this space here, but we can see that currently it's earmarked for two offices and we're gonna need the whole area. So I wanna focus in on that and actually collaborate with some of my colleagues on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a snapshot of that area and I'm gonna release. And now I'm gonna remove this uh, large drawing now as it is from the screen and I'm going to pull in the area for focus onto my system like so. Having done that, I can now take a better look at it with my colleagues. Now what I want to do is adjust this drawing so that then my draftsman can take another look at the main plans and actually redo them. I'm going to push back the layer here again and now I'm going to grab an iPad. So I'm going to grab an iPad, I'm going to move it over here so that I can, you can see what I'm doing. Uh, and I'm actually going to now pick up that iPad and using my system here, I'm going to take a look at the drawing. I'm going to double click. If we look over here, I can now say, okay, using a red pen, 
I'm just going to focus on this area. I'm going to show people that this is the wall that I wish to remove, that we need to make this a single doorway, and that I want to widen the fire escape here as well. So having made some very simple notes on there that I can then pass back to my draftsman, I'm going to click on my button there and I'm going to upload that annotated image into our library. Using the wand, I'm going to remove this live data source and I'm going to scroll over here until we find my annotated image and I'm going to take that to the court board so that that's retained as well as we move through the system. What I can also do then is bring back in the iPad and actually say well okay and this can be shared with all the different locations that are on the call. What I also want to do is just add very quickly a text file and create that text item there Again, let's just take our iPad out of the way so we can see what we're doing. You can see that we've made a quick text file here that's also time-stamped so that people can see when I made those changes. And if I needed to, using the annotation technique, I can then sign that just an, or initial it just to let you know who's made those changes and, and what the changes were. So that gives us a very neat example then of how we can use the mezzanine system to make some annotations draw your ideas over to the court board and collaborate together. We could have up to four different rooms connected here with 10 devices connected to each room and then any 10 of those devices used in combination to get to our decision making and collaboration.